think one of the biggest things we had here at our campus was that trust that we put into each other, that we could rely on each other. If, if we needed help, we were there for each other. We were here to empower each other to be greater than what we can be. I feel like I've come closer to my teachers because before it's kind of just all the students, you know, all together. And now she individualizes with every single student so she gets to know them better. So I feel like the bonds get stronger. I have easily 70 to 100 kids every year and I could potentially change their lives. I could set them up for success every year. And there's not a lot of people that can say that they affect that many lives every year. Now that I'm, I'm kind of honoring who they are as individuals and equals, you know, I, I, I can see that respect coming back to me. And um, it's, it's pretty touching, you know, it's pretty amazing to, uh, to see the impact you're having on these kids' lives when you really get to know them. I believe in my leadership styles, I'm dedicated to my faculty, I'm dedicated to my parents, I'm dedicated to my students especially. He told me that he has choice in what he is learning. He has a voice in what he is learning. His grades are better. We looked at his data is better. Behavior is better. And now we, we just watching him just take off. It's important that we all come together and really able to do as much as we can to give every kid an opportunity to go to school, to feel like they're important, and to see all these kids come out today. I mean, it uh, puts a lot of smiles on people's faces. When people tell me that, that public education is failing, they need to come and walk these halls. I would venture to say that none of them could handle this rigor of the accountability and at the same time give the love and the patience that they give to these students every single day.